Wonder how you're doing and moving through the crowds every day. And all I wanna know, are you thinking about me? I just gotta know. I just gotta know. So numb, I wish I could get you out of my head. So numb, doing all I can to move, but I can't. Oh no, I gotta let you go. Hey guys, so for today's video, I wanted to take you through me getting ready for my birthday. I did a super glam look and also wore neon for the very first time, which was really fun. But if you guys have not subscribed yet, please do and leave a thumbs up down below if you end up liking this tutorial. Starting off with the eyes today, I used the new Sigma Makeup Eyeshadow Primer in Ignite and I just put it on with a flat brush first all over the entire eye area and then I patted it in with my fingertips because this formula, it's very creamy and if you apply too much like I did, it definitely gets on the thicker side. So I just use my finger to kind of really pat it into the skin and blend it out nicely so it's not too thick of a layer. But this is a great eyeshadow primer for sure. Like it really makes the eyeshadows last forever. They never move, they never smudge or smear. And I, I really love it. I did use, of course, <laughs> The Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette because this has been my favorite recently. I just can't stop using it. So we're gonna use it again today, except I'm gonna do a different look that I haven't showed you guys before. Picking up the shade Bucked first and putting that into the crease. So when I do my crease eyeshadows, I always start with one that is like a lighter brown like this. I start in the very middle of the crease and just slowly start working that inwards and then outwards with whatever is left on the brush. And the brush I'm using is very fluffy. It's not a densely packed brush at all. Like it's very loose and that just allows me to really spread out the color and blow it out so that way it's not too concentrated in one area. Now I'm also really focusing this in the inner corner as well. So I did two layers of the shadow Bucked. So my last Get Ready With Me video, you guys were saying in the comments that you liked how I showed you me doing the other eye on camera because my eyes are shaped a little bit differently. This one has more of a defined crease, so you can just see how I'm blending it out here. And I realized I've been doing so many neutral looks lately. Let me know if you guys enjoy these everyday type makeup looks or, I mean, this one's a little bit more glam or if you would prefer to see me do some color or you know just something different. I know a lot of you really like this style. Personally, this is my favorite and this is what I wear all the time, like neutral looks like this, but I'm just curious to see if any of you guys wanna see something different, let me know. I'm going in now with this warmer shade here. It's called Boundaries, it's also matte and it's slightly lighter than the other one that I used. What I'm doing with this is basically just putting it in the very outer corner area and kind of buffing out the shadow we laid down first. And I put that shadow down first, bucked, because it's slightly more cooler toned, which is gonna really contour out the eye shape. What I'm doing here is really just kind of warming up the outer corner and buffing that other shade out a bit, so that way it's not too harsh on that outer corner area. Going into end game here, and this is a dark brown. It's matte, but I do find that it is a little bit chalky. If you guys haven't seen my review of this, my first impressions review, I will definitely link it above. And what I found really works is when you pat it in with a pencil brush first, just to lay it down on the lid, and then slowly blend and buff it out with whatever brush you were using for your crease eyeshadows because that way the crease shadow kind of mixes with this shadow and it keeps it on the lid. Whereas when I was doing my first impression video, I didn't know that and I was trying to like buff it out with a clean blending brush and it just disappeared and got really patchy. So it's kind of a difficult shadow to work with but once you get it there on that outer corner of the eye, it looks so beautiful and it gives really nice dimension distilled it's like a shimmery bronzy shadow but when it gets a little bit into your crease it becomes slightly darker and then when it's on your lid it's very shimmery and bright so i love that so much this is like one of those eyeshadows that you can use all over the entire eye and it looks different 
on every spot of your eye <laughs> like I love it it's gorgeous but it wasn't enough for me because it was my birthday when I did this look and I'm like I need a little bit extra glam to this eye shadow so what I did was use the ColourPop Super Shock shadow in Weenie and apply that with my fingers to the very center of the lid and you guys can see it just brings even more light and then I decided to put a pigment over top of that from Catrice Cosmetics it's like a loose eyeshadow and it's called Eclipse with my finger I patted that right on top of the super shock shadow because the super shock one is like a little bit creamy so this pigment actually stuck really well and I didn't have any fallout and it just gave me the most beautiful like glow to the center of my lids and I loved it so from there I used the clean blending brush just to buff out the edges of my crease eyeshadow up into my brow bone area and lastly I used the eyeshadow blur which like is a matte yellowish lighter tan shade and I applied that to the brow bone and kind of blended it into the crease eyeshadows. For eyeliner today I used something a little different because I've been using the same one over and over from Seat London that I really like the stamp and drag so I was like okay I need to I need to use something else <laughs> like this is getting old. So I used the Tarte liner here and I don't know if it's just because it's old like I've had it for a while or if it's just because I haven't used it in a long time but it was giving me some issues here you guys can see it took me a little bit longer than usual to fill in this wing area but eventually I got it I really do love how this formula is so black a little bit difficult but it looked really good once I got it on I just kept it thinner in the inner corners and then thicker as it went out and I extended my wing pretty far out as well like really close to the end of my brows then I used peaches and cream mosquito eyelashes you guys know I, I don't really ever do a makeup look without wearing falsies it just helps to really make my eyes look bigger and especially when I'm doing really dramatic well this isn't really dramatic but you know when I'm doing an eyeshadow look in general it just I feel like I, I need eyelashes to really open up the eye I didn't feel like one lash was enough <laughs> so I actually doubled my lashes and put on Lily from kiss products or kiss kiss lashes on top of the Esquito ones and now I'm using my DHC super collagen moisturizer I really love this one it is so incredibly hydrating I always tell people like whenever they ask me about makeup or how I do my makeup or just how to do makeup in general I'm like really prepping the skin is the most important part to getting a flawless look so I feel that moisturizing is so essential. I also used a mixture of my illuminating primer from CoverGirl and a tinted moisturizer to give a little bit more color to my face and also to help the foundations just really glide on easily to the skin. Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in 6.5 Buttermilk. I am blending onto the problem areas on my face here to really just correct the redness, just cover that. I used a mixture of Too Faced Born This Way in Nude and Smashbox Studio Skin in 2.3 for my foundation. Such an amazing combo if you're looking for hydration, full coverage, you know, something that's going to last you all day. It'll be sweat proof. I mean, this combination is like the ultimate. And for the concealer, I corrected the under eyes first with the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in... I think this was 2.3 also. I don't know, I'm gonna have to double check and I will list it down below in the description box as well as everything else I'm using. Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage Concealer in Light Biscuit. This is nice because it sort of has like a bit of a peachy pink tone to it. You can't tell on camera, but definitely in person. And I find that that just looks beautiful under the eyes. This one is so incredibly hydrating. It blends in beautifully to the skin and gives you like a nice glow as well. I, I'm just obsessed with this concealer. It really is one of the best from the drugstore. I need to do a top 10 drugstore concealer video. The next step that I like to do is contour. And my favorite is this cream contour stick matchstick from Fenty Beauty in Mocha. So I'll use this on any areas of my face that I want to really just create shadows. So along the outer corners of my forehead, my nose, tip of the nose, right in between the cupid's bow area, chin, jawline, and cheekbones. And I'll just blend that out with the same blending sponge that I used for my foundation and concealer. And this is from Real Techniques. Going in now to the Becca powder. This is like the hydro powder. 
I patted that under the eye area just so that the concealer doesn't crease. And I've been really, really liking using this lately. It's definitely gonna be in my April favorites from Cover FX. It's called the Perfector Face Palette. I went in with this Silhouette, which is the contour shade, to set over top of the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. Even though the Fenty Beauty one doesn't really need any setting, I just, you know, I just love bronzer. <laughs> then I went in with the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow Palette and the shade Paranoid, which is a beautiful contour bronzy shade as well, but it has like a little bit of shimmer to it. So I really like to use that mostly on the outer corners of my cheeks. And for blush today, I mixed Score and PSA from that Urban Decay Afterglow palette and put that onto the apples of the cheeks and kind of blended it backwards a bit. I love a good highlight, so I wanted my cheeks and my cheekbones to be glowing. So from the Cover FX palette, I mixed the two highlighter shades together and just went to town with that, putting it on the top of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, middle of the forehead, and chin. And then for you know, an extra glow, I went in with the iconic Illuminator Drops and applied that to the high points of my cheekbones there. And I think, yeah, I did it on my nose too. And this is, this is pretty. So going back to the eyes, I did a mixture this time of bucked and boundaries from the inner corner to outer corner. And I went in pretty heavily with that, like bring it down low. You know, you gotta bring it down low so that your eyes look bigger. Well, at least that's what I like to do. And then I went in with the shade Endgame and buffed that on top, but keeping it kind of closer to the lash line there. And lastly, I used Esquito Eyeliner Pencil in brown. So, one tip for you guys. Before you do mascara on the lower lashes, make sure that you spray your face with setting spray first because otherwise it's going to smear all over your face after you spray. <laughs> so I use the iconic set, I think it's Prep Set Glow. I believe that's what it's called. Gives your face a really nice, beautiful glow, but it also sets your makeup at the same time. And for the inner corner highlight for my eyes, I used that like really shimmery shade from the Urban Decay Reloaded palette. I cannot remember the name of it. I think it's called Angel Fire, actually, yeah. And I used Revlon Volumizing Mascara to blend my natural lashes in with the falsies and the Hourglass Caution Extreme for my lower lashes. I'm just really paranoid about baking my nose i don't know i feel like it's just it's just that thing you know i don't know if it actually is really doing anything it's just more like for me mentally i just i always bake my nose with every look that i do for the lips i line them first with gerard cosmetics sugar and spice a little bit of my anastasia soft brown eyebrow pencil on the like mo outermost part of the lips just to really like contour them out so that they're definitely gonna be darker than my actual lip shade. And for that, I used Laura Mercier Brun Natural and then Brun Pale in the center and a little bit of Iconic Lip Gloss in, it's a lip plumping gloss in nearly, nearly nude over top. All right, so makeup is finished. For my hair, I just brushed it through. I am wearing Luxie Hair Extensions. These are the Seamless Set in Blonde Balayage. I used a lot of dry shampoo because I haven't washed my hair in like half a week. Definitely needed to get rid of some of that oiliness in the root area there. I used a mixture of Batiste dry shampoo and the Aveeno one as well. And that definitely worked. It looked like I had just washed my hair. It's amazing. GHD straightener. This is just the original one. I mainly focused on the back of my head around like my hairline there and then also around my face because those are the areas that tend to curl up since I do have naturally curly hair. So I got to you know, make sure that those are nice and straightened out so that it matches with the rest of my hair. And also I feel when I do the straightener all over, it just really helps my hair to blend in better with the extensions. I also clipped, or not clipped, but <laughs> I put in these earrings from Forever 21, huge hoop earrings. And as for my outfit, the top is from Dolls Kill, this awesome neon top, so freaking cute. And the skirt is from Boohoo. It's like a military style satin skirt. I love the detail with the buckles and the pockets. And the shoes, I honestly have had them for like six years. I've got absolutely no idea where I got them from. 
um, but I just love the detail on them too. They're like a lace up really, really high platform boot. And that is the entire outfit that I wore for my birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.